What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Colt DeBull with another Call of Duty gameplay and there's still a lot of things to talk about as I'll switch my class doing that shot clock cheese. But yes, we have a lot of things to talk about. We first have to talk about the NFL season. It's been really nice. It's been really good. They've been going down the wire. There's been some overtimes. There's been some upsets. Yeah, there are some really good teams out there and... I have a question for you guys, and I'm also going to answer it too. If the season were to end, like yesterday, if the season would have ended, now it's the playoffs starting now. The season would have ended. Who do you think would win or go to the Super Bowl, and who do you think will win the Super Bowl? Like, there's so many teams. That's just been on my mind. I... There's, like, so many teams that you would expect in, like, the preseason. Like, a lot of people thought, you know, the Panthers were going to do really well this season, but we all know what happened with, like, this season and, like, Cam Newton. It's not been his best season, so, yeah. So now since the season is almost over and there's been really good teams, and it's almost over, it's almost playoffs anyway, so that's my question for you. And I'm also going to answer this right now, so... Two teams I would choose to go to the Super Bowl and one team to win. I would have to choose one. My first team would be the Denver Broncos. They have been on fire. Peyton Manning, Demarius Thomas, Julius Thomas. Peyton Manning is. Getting old, he's played so many seasons, but he's still a prime. He's still elite. Demarius Thomas. But yes, what am I saying? He is an insane wide receiver. Julius Thomas, he's the best, or at least one of the best Titans in the NFL. So yes, that's going to be my teams to choose. And I would just say, my other team... Would have to be. Some people might go mad about this, but I'm gonna explain other teams later. The Arizona Cardinals. Now I know that's shocking, but yes, the Arizona Cardinals, who does not have like a, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, the quarterback. They have Carson Palmer, but you know, it's crazy though. They are nine one. I'm going to have to check the, check the record, but they're insane. They've barely lost any games. They are undefeated at home. They are just on fire. Wait, yeah, they're 9-1. All right, I just checked. So, yes, they're on fire, and that also. Like, Larry Fitzgerald, he's getting old, but he's still elite. Like, so many good players are played so many seasons and are still really good this season. You know, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers. Um, I ought to say also maybe, you know, Big Ben after that huge game. You know, Larry Fitzgerald. Brandon Marshall's still pretty good, but yes. So those are my two teams, and... One sec, guys. I have a little song for you, then we're going to continue this NFL discussion.
Hope you guys enjoyed that song. And next we're going to... Oh, wait. I still have to talk about the NFL season. I was going to forget. All right, so, yeah. I just predicted. Now, you have to tell me, are these good predictions? Do you hate the predictions? Hey, I'm fine with you hate. I'm fine with that. And... Who do you think, who will be your predictions? Let me just know that. Let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you like my con like it. And, sure, I guess you can dislike if you don't like it. I don't care. I really don't care, but yes. Next, we're going to talk about these sleeper teams or teams that aren't as, like, what I mentioned, but still could have a chance. The teams that make it are the Detroit Lions, the Green Bay Packers, and the New England Patriots. Let's first talk about the Lions. The Lions, they have had some pretty awesome overtime field goal game winners. They have Matthew Stafford, they have Megatron. Their defense, just like the Packers, are on a whole new level. They are insane. So they have a good offense. Good defense. They have a chance at making it far in the playoffs. Or Super Bowl. Next, the Packers. They have such an elite offense. Aaron Rodgers. He's still playing crazy. He's been in the NFL for so many seasons. He's still playing like it was first season. Like, it's insane. He's so elite. He is, like, by far the top five quarterbacks in the NFL. It's crazy. He has Cobb as a wide receiver. He has Nelson as a wide receiver. He has Eddie Lassie, who doesn't use much, but is there still really good running back. Like, their team is stacked. And their defense is insane. Their defense is seriously insane, just like the Detroit Lions. Last team will be the New England Patriots. Now, the New England Patriots... They have Tom Brady, who is also a really elite quarterback. But the problem is, he doesn't have any good wide receivers. But they still have a really good defense. And if you guys saw that Patriots game last week, Gray was killing it. If you have um, fantasy from the waiver, you're definitely the luckiest person alive. You just won the lottery. Because he got over 30 fantasy points. And most people have him on the waiver. Once I found out about the game, I even went on fantasy football. Looked at my league and saw if anyone owned him. No one did. And I got him. <laughs> I don't know why I would. Hey, I'll take it. So I think that's funny. Like, people who we don't even own are killing it. No one even owned the Green Bay Packers this week either. And of course, I got them too. <laughs> oh my god. When I saw that, I was going crazy with the waiver wire. <laughs> like, it's fun. It's really fun. My team is not good. It's my first fantasy season, but hey, I got a lot to learn. But yeah. So, those are my sleeper teams. And next topic would have to be, if you guys saw on Sunday night, the Nets Heat game with Shabazz Napier. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, but... His crazy crossover rookie from UConn against Kevin Garnett, who has played many seasons in Brooklyn and as Boston. So, I want to play the video, then I'm going to discuss the commentary while after it goes on. So, peace. Reset. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that other video. That was the highlight reel of Shabazz crossing over KG at Brooklyn against the my no, as a Miami Heat in his first year. So I have to talk about that gameplay. All right, so that was crazy. When I saw that, it it was crazy. Like KG first ran into his teammate and just like did not know where to go. I'm going to be attaching the link to that video, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to attach the link, and you guys can see it and watch and see what I'm talking about. So, yes. As this game already finished over, and I still have one more thing to talk about. This gameplay went by quick. So, yeah. I'm going to be attaching the video, and I guess might as well go on to my next topic. So, no, actually... Why not continue talking about this Napier thing? So, I guess one more thing would be the NBA rookies. Is it a really good season or is it a really bad season? In my opinion, some really good seasons would have to be the number one draft pick, Andrew Wiggins, obviously. I have to say also Jabari Parker. I would also have, I have a list. I have Zach Levine. I have Napier after that. Well, he would not have made the list, but after that, yes. Um, let's see who else. There's one more person I was gonna say. Man, I totally slipped my mind, but yeah. I guess Wiggins and Parker they were they were obvious. And everyone knows the NBA draft is rigged. Everyone knows that. Think about this. This is a long time ago, but yeah. Might as well, since we're talking about NBA rookies, if they were a really good season or a really bad season, and you know what just started. Everyone knows the draft is rigged. The Cavs had a three or some had a three percent chance, or I don't think it was in that high. It was like. Two or one. Think about that. It's like pretty much a lottery. Like or one thing about this way. Two percent chance of them getting the lottery pick. The Cavs. And they got it. So here's how they do it. So it's like you know like the ping pong balls they do like in the like the lottery and they do like the number. So they have like a huge paper of like all those numbers. And they're combinations of like, okay, like, the second most is like, so it's like the first three were the Cavs, the 70 Sisters, and the Bucks. And the 70 Sisters and Bucks had like 30 of like those combinations, the Cavs only had like one or two. Like, it was, cr and think about it, they got the first pick. They won the lottery pick. Like, everyone knows it's rigged. Like, they literally had that slim of a chance, and they got it. To me, that's insane. But, rookies would have to be Wiggins, who's been really good. Parker has been really good. Napier would not have topped the list, but after that with the KG, and looking at it as, like, college gameplay... I would say he also tops my list. Zach Levine is a crazy dunker. I'm also going to attach another link in the video of, like, him winning the high school, like, California dunk contest. Like, he was doing, like, some people were doing, like, dunks over chairs over people. He was doing, like, a crazy tomahawk dunk like Le what LeBron does. So, I'm going to be attaching that link, too, so you can watch that video and... Yeah, so I would say the last thing to talk about would have to be while this gameplay wraps up. Oh, never mind. This is domination. Would have to be the future of the channel and like what games I'm going to be putting in. So let's do this. So obviously I'm getting started this channel. I only have 30 subs, but you know I'm just getting started, and you know whatever you guys want me to do to improve the channel. You just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do it. But yeah. Games to be coming in the channel. Obviously NBA 2K15. 
That's obvious. That's a done deal. Obviously, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, some gameplay will be coming out. I'll be streaming it on Twitch, so if you're not following me on Twitch, I'll be leaving the link down in the description. I'll be streaming, and let's see. What else? I would say... Hopefully some Madden 15, maybe some Ultimate Team gameplay will be coming out. I just been start. I started it recently, and it's really fun. I don't have an awesome team, but hey, I'll get what I get. And I would just say, future games would have to be. Um. Let's see. How about some Let's Plays? Would be. Hmm. Some Let's Plays would be. Probably if a new Grand Theft Auto comes out, probably, I'll probably be doing a series of the Call of Duty campaign. You seem to love my video of the, like, question with, like, the trailer in the, the video, so. You seem to like that video, and, you know, I'll just, I'll take that into consideration, and I guess I'll make that also a Let's Play, so. We have two... We have, how about, I'm also going to be doing 2K15 My Career. I'm going to be doing a My Team. I'm going to be doing, let's see, Math 15, I'll do Ultimate Team. I'll probably also do a Career too, but we'll see. I might want to get WWE. I'm watching Sub the Gamer videos. If you're not, I'll subscribe to him. He makes awesome videos. He makes awesome NBA 2K he makes awesome WWE videos, so if you're not subscribed to him, I'll leave the link down in the description. So yeah, he makes really awesome videos. I'm going to give him a shout out. Hopefully he sees this video. That'll be awesome. But yeah, I'm thinking of awesome getting that, making like a my career thing. Or maybe awesome just like, you know, people like John Cena versus like a scrubber. I know, something that hilarious. Like, John Cena will just destroy him. Um, let's see, how about, try to think, let me know if there's any other games that are really good out there, because, you know, I'm trying to think of ideas. So, you have a lot of things to let me know in the comments below. First, let me know in the comments below, what team, or, how do you like my predictions for the NFL Super Bowl, who do you think is going to win? Let me know. Also. Let me know who you think is going to the Super Bowl and who you think is going to win. Also, let me... I may have not discussed this, but yes. Let me know if you agree with the rookies that I said who are having a good season. And let me know if there's other guys who are having a really good season or a person I mentioned who is not having such a good season. So, that's two. And finally... My last thing is, let me know in the comments below if there's any other games that are really good out right now that you would want to see me play as a Let's Play for like campaign, multiplayer, career, whatever. I'm really open to that, that I appreciate all the support and yes. So, this video should be wrapping up shortly. We are about to lose this game. I can never get a win, but yes. So, if you enjoy the commentary, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more daily vids. I always appreciate more subscribers. Just like I say, getting this channel going, getting this channel started. And I want to say, you know, let me know with all those comments. I really appreciate all the support. It really does mean a lot. Like the Facebook page. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. I almost have 600 followers on Twitter. I... Really cannot thank you enough. That is insane. Now, I started this channel in the middle of August. We're in the middle of November. That's three months. I already have, you know, this much support. That is insane. I really can't thank you guys enough. And, you know, that's just awesome. Follow me on Instagram. I've not been posting much, but I surely will in the future. And as we lose game. Man, we lost by a big margin. It seems Call of Duty Ghosts is rigged for multiplayer. If you don't have, you know, like, prestige guns, you'll always lose. That seems to be always the case, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be wrapping up this 
topic montage shortly, and I'll see you guys later. Peace on the streets. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, peace, guys. I'll see you guys later.